Yo, what is going on, guys? Today, I got you guys with a double upload because Call of Duty just released a Intel drop. You guys don't know what Intel drops are? Intel drops are basically whenever a new Call of Duty game is about to come out, the devs come out and give a little bit of details that way you can build more hype and we can get some more information. If you guys don't know, at the time that I'm recording this video, Call of Duty Next is starting in officially three days, so I'm really, really excited for that. Without further ado, let's get right on into this Intel drop. It seems like this Intel drop is a little bit about this thing called aftermarket parts and how the class setup system is going to be working in Modern Warfare 3, which is super, super important because this is actually what my channel is about for the most part so without further ado let's get right on into the video for call of duty modern warfare 3 right. we've added a new way to customize your weapons aftermarket parts all right let's go aftermarket parts let's hear it. aftermarket parts are a new option within gunsmith and it's okay first of all let's get a little bit of a combat. rewind first of all Looks like we got weapon inspects right off Actual the rip of the game. This is the Renetti master. right here. It looks like it's a burst fire mod right here. It doesn't look like it's fully auto. It looks like a burst because if you rewind yeah, it, let's see how many times it shoots. We got come back to really quick. They may have already mastered One, two, play. three. Yep, so this is a burst fire Renetti. So it looks like there's going to be a bunch of different things you could do to the gun. Right off the rip, this is not a fully auto Renetti. This is not just a semi-tap like semi-auto this is a full-on burst yeah, renetti okay. right here and then here's our first look at the class setup system in modern warfare 3 man oh my god okay so the ui looks pretty similar to the modern warfare 2 ui which is i mean it's fine this is just the gunsmith the fonts are a little bit different looks like we're going from the traditional green color to red which is kind of weird because i thought that they would go with the red modern warfare 3 color we got laser barrel muzzle trigger action ammunition magazine size rear grip stock and optic and of course as you guys can see right here we got the conversion kits so yeah it's really similar to modern warfare 2 obviously they're not going to stray too far away from modern warfare 2 because it's on the same engine they're integrating all the weapons they're integrating all the movements so they don't want to like deviate from it too much but enough so that you could tell that it's a different game we got the damage fire rate range accuracy recoil control mobility and handling bars right down here modifications it's still five it's not like vanguard where you can put 10 on or anything special but yeah you can put five attachments max on the Renetti weapon progression is right here. And it looks like the guns are staying around like level 20-ish like in Modern Warfare 2. It's not going to be like Modern Warfare 2019 where you can get it leveled up for 60 levels. And so, I mean, it's yeah. It's going to give them an entirely new dimension. And then right off rip, we got a blueprint or a aftermarket part which is basically a fully automatic carbine conversion kit. So obviously they're probably going to use this to sell more of the game. Like they're probably going to put it into a like ultimate edition or something like that. But that's besides the point. The aftermarket parts right here is this little underbarrel and this stock. So it looks like that's what makes this aftermarket part so special, the underbarrel and the stock. This heavy carbine kit converts the Renetti pistol into a compact and maneuverable SMG, allows for optic stocks and underbarrel attachments. So this is kind of similar to what we see with the M13 Auto, which is originally a fully automatic pistol, but as soon as you put on this specific barrel, it turns to look sort of like more of an SMG. Everything changes about it, the optic, the recoil control, almost everything. So this is gonna be really, really cool to see more in Modern Warfare 3. Looks like they have a 3D printed gun right here, which we saw at the end of Modern Warfare 2's campaign where they were doing the no Russian mission and built a 3D printed pistol on the plane. Here are the pros. They're doing something a little bit different this year from the looks of it. It looks like if you have one arrow on the pro, that means you get a pro, but it's not as much as the two arrows, which is giving you more bullet velocity and damage range, more than rate of fire and fully auto fire. And then this little hollowed out arrow, I'm assuming kind of is like a special thing that like it's a benefit that it gives you, which allows for tactical stance. So when you're using this conversion kit, you can use that tactical stance that they were talking really heavily about. But when you don't have this conversion kit on and you just have the pistol, you will not be able to use tactical stance. Another thing that is not in this video that they failed to mention is that if you're using a 1x optic you will not be punished anymore you won't have to worry about you know less ads speed or anything like that so that is why on the cons over here there is no ads speed being taken away because you're still using an iron sight and even if you put a 1x optic on like the slim line it wouldn't like it wouldn't screw you over basically we still got the little bars right here you get some damage range fire rate range you know take a little bit of a hit from the recoil control mobility and handling but as you guys can see right underneath that we got show detail stats when you press r2 if you guys have never seen this before detailed stats were a really really cool thing that black ops cold war had as you guys can see on screen right here where every single time that you put an attachment on you could see with actual stats and numbers what you were getting and what you were not getting 
which is really, really good to see. I'm so glad that they decided to integrate this in because this means that you can be more precise with those attachments and figure out what exactly you're losing and how much you're losing or how much you're gaining. That's pretty cool. Interact with the gun in a way the regular so now this is how can. the new Renetti looks after the aftermarket kit is put on, which is now the Jack Ferocity Carbon kit. Think of that and I mean, yeah, like it said, it's a fully guns. automatic Renetti now. Really I mean, that's just it, sick, dude. Nearly a new gun. They are powerful, meaningful changes. So Renetti base model. Caliber. Then you put on the fire, aftermarket kit, fire, and it just completely well changes. Jack Ferocity, we're going to aftermarket have, part. We're and then it, let's we're gonna rewind this fire, really quickly well right here because. The fire type. Hold on. That's the PKM. It's it's literally the PKM from Modern Warfare 2019. They just renamed it to the Polymayot 762. I would assume that that's like the Russian version of the PKM. But, I mean, yeah, that's literally the PKM for Modern Warfare 2019. Um, so you start with the PKM, the you put on a conversion kit, kit and then it turns it into a bullpup bull rifle, which is basically, like, that new assault rifle that just got added into the game, this TR-76 Geist, that's a bullpup rifle. So this is going to feel kind of equivalent to that. It's just going to be a little bit more heavy because it's an LMG instead of an AR. So it turns from that PKM base model into the Jack Annihilator after just adding an aftermarket part. So that's really it's sick. It's, they're like completely different weapons. Of the gun. There's a, another reload so really weapon, really weapon inspect type they, thing. You can spray from the hip. You can yep, there's the bullpup action. It's kind of that slow, heavy hitting version thing. Of the weapon. Aftermarket parts really aspire to just be fun. We want some of them to be just... All right, we got another SMG right here. This is the Uzi from the looks of it. It's called the WSP Swarm Submachine Gun. This weapon has 30 levels. So yeah, like I said, in, like just like in Modern Warfare 2, I mean, just like in Modern Warfare 2, dude, this the, these levels are going to be really low, which means that the camo system is most likely going to be the same. And can we really just talk about how small the magazine is and how it's able to hold 100 rounds? I don't get how this small little magazine is holding 100 rounds, but if that is actually the amount of rounds that you get with this SMG, this SMG is probably going to be crazy. I mean, dude, I'm so freaking hyped for this. That players are yep. completely okay. Off. See, there's another conversion kit. There's it's another conversion kit. Hold on. We want some of them to be just absolute conversion kit. WSP Akimbo Brace Stock. So there's a new stock that just got added right here. And that allows you to use a Kimbo. So it looks like it's not really going to be perks that let you use a Kimbo and stuff like that anymore. But it looks like the perks are going to be built into attachments, which are the aftermarket parts. So I couldn't really get a good understanding of aftermarket parts before. But this is, I mean, just the perfect way to put it. If you want to rock a Kimbo SMGs, put on the aftermarket part that is going to give you a Kimbo Brace stocks. And you'll be able to dual wield these pistols instead of going and getting a perk. So pros, a Kimbo, cons, move, strafe, sprint speed, bullet velocity and range, sprint to fire speed, and damage range but i mean hey it's a it's a pretty equal payoff because you get two smgs i'm sure if you put on some hip fire like lasers on your gun and all that stuff it's going to cancel all this out and that might be op also now it looks like the rounds are not glitched 32 rounds that seems a little bit more reasonable so yeah i mean that's a good way to put yeah, there, there, there they are the weapon inspect and they look sick dude play styles dramatically we put a lot into aftermarket parts and we are so excited for the community to get their mm -hmm. hands on them and of course that's that's the intel drop i mean dude th these this freaking system is gonna be absolutely insane i'm so freaking hyped if you guys are hyped about modern warfare 3 like i said earlier in the video make sure you guys go down below and drop us up with the post notification bell turn on so you guys never miss an upload because you guys are not going to want to miss what we have planned here on the channel in modern warfare 3 remember beta is in three days so don't miss the live stream we're going to be going live showcasing all of the new movement all the new guns and all that good stuff that's shown in the beta and hey guys thank you guys so much for showing a lot of love and support of the past videos i really do appreciate it, and i will see you guys all in the next one later